Guys, welcome back to Relax Running. Now, if you are a new to intermediate distance runner, looking for a way to improve your half marathon performance, I've put this video together specifically for you. So this video is designed uh, for eight to 12 weeks out from your half marathon race, running four days a week. It's gonna combine a few different factors to see you running a really good half marathon. Maybe you've already realized that there's so many different training plans out there that if you're new to the sport, it can be a little bit overwhelming to know where to start. So I'm gonna give you four tips or four key areas that you need to focus on when you're planning for your half marathon. And then I'm gonna to explain to you how to structure that into your week over two to three months to make sure that you're running well for that half marathon. All right, so those four areas, are you need your endurance, obviously. You need your speed endurance or your aerobic threshold, your lactate threshold. You need to have an easy slash recovery day and also focus on speed. Let me just walk through each of these areas and tell you how I like to structure them into my own training program and the training programs of the athletes that I work with. Now obviously endurance speaks for itself. If you're gonna run a half marathon, you need the ability to run for a sustained period of time. Now depending on how long you've been running or how fit you are is gonna dictate how far those long runs should be. If you're a pretty confident runner, if you're pretty confident in your ability to run the half marathon distance, I actually like to run a little bit beyond that half marathon distance in a couple of training runs, just to make sure that the legs are comfortable, that the body's comfortable with the distance that we're running. If you're a little bit newer to the sport, maybe your goal is gonna to be to build up to about 16 Ks before your half marathon race. If you can run 16 Ks before your race, it's a pretty good sign that with some people around you, you're gonna be completely fine to get through the half marathon. But how do you structure it? Well, I would encourage you, if you could start with about six to eight kilometers 12 weeks out, and run each distance for two weeks in a row. So one week you'll run eight kilometers, next week you'll run eight kilometers. Then the week after that, you'll build it up to 12. And then the week after that to 14, all the way up to 16 to 20 kilometers a week, depending on how you're feeling. The reason we do that is obviously it builds that consistency, it builds the strength in your legs, and it also gives you the confidence as well as the aerobic strength to be able to get through that half marathon without too many issues. Second part of your running training that I'm really going to encourage you to do and do it on a Tuesday is your aerobic threshold or your lactate threshold, that stuff which is right on the cusp of being pretty hard for you. The other area of this training session that I like is it allows us to actually push a little bit faster than our goal half marathon pace. The beauty with that is if we can go faster than our half marathon pace in training, when we get to half marathon race day, then our goal race pace feels a little bit easier. So there's a variety of sessions that you could do on your lactate threshold night. I like to uh, encourage athletes to do six to eight by 1K at slightly slower than their 10K race pace with about a 60 to 90 second recovery. Or you could go out for your goal half marathon pace for 20 minutes in a tempo run, uh, maybe about five seconds quicker than your goal half marathon pace. The reason for that is it gives you a sustained experience of what the pace that you're hoping to run feels like but because it's a little bit quicker like I said before you get to half marathon race day all of a sudden the effort doesn't seem quite as intense which in the early parts of a half marathon run can be really beneficial. Thursdays I would encourage you guys to put a nice easy run in your Thursday sessions. Now this could be between 30 and 45 minutes at a pace which is uh, super embarrassing to be seen running at. This is a chance just to be able to turn the legs over to build build a bit more of an aerobic capacity, keep laying that foundation. But today is not about trying to set any Strava records or any PBs. It's simply about recovery and about building that strength and consistency. So we, when, when we get to the more difficult sessions, we're fresher, we're ready to get out there and put in the work which we need to put in. And then comes uh, our second easy run of the week. Just another chance to turn the legs over. Same as Thursday, but in this session, we want to put in a couple of short, sharp sprints at the end of it. So you might run for 30 minutes pretty slowly. Then you go to the park, do a few stretches, loosen up a little bit, and then just get into some flat out sprints for 60 to 70 meters. The reason we do that is because we don't want to turn into one of these marathon plotters who's so good at running miles and miles and miles, but just shuffling along. We want you to have a little bit of speed, a little bit of pop in the legs, so that if you need to pick up the pace, uh, it's so much more natural to you. Now, don't forget, this is an eight to 12 week program. You're not gonna see the results that you're gonna see over a period of a week that you'll see if you stick to this for 12 weeks, right up till race day. So one of the mistakes so many new runners make is they think, all right, I gotta get out there and just push myself 100% as often as I can. That's a direct ticket to injury, a direct ticket 
to fatigue. So back up off a little bit. Make sure you're using your easy days as easy days. I can promise you that if you can put this together for eight to 12 weeks, the benefits that you'll see there is so much better than just being a hero for a week. So trust me, patience and consistency seems to reward all distance runners and you are not excluded from that. If you want more guidance or if you're looking for a specific coach, you and I can work one-on-one. -on -one. We can work together on a monthly basis or an annual basis. Jump over to relaxrunning.com, click on the coaching tab to see what it is we offer to see if that could be a good fit for you. If not, if this video was helpful, like it, leave a comment, subscribe. We've got new videos coming out every week and make sure to listen to a number of the best athletes in Australia and from all around the world over at the Relaxed running podcast but in the meantime guys happy training best of luck if you've got any questions whack them in the comments below and i'll see you guys really soon